Moving along, and you know, it's back a few years, but I'm sure you haven't forgotten the days when one event did excite the world above all. You're absolutely right, John, and I suppose it happens most when a new champion is about to be crowned, and it looks like that could very well be the case here. Tracy Wayneman is in first place coming into the final of the ladies' event. She's being chased by Kay Thompson of the Granite Club in Toronto and Elizabeth Manley from Ottawa, who both do triple Lutzes. An unheard of thing in senior ladies' competition. It's going to be an exciting one. <laughs> we talked about Tracy and age and the small ones. Otto, you know, it just seems that it's unbelievable what they can accomplish, and they don't have to be old and big and strong. Well, John, those of us that saw the World Junior Championships from uh, London, Ontario last month, we would have seen the tremendous young talent from all around the world, 11, 12, 13-year-olds doing double and triple jumps and with style. You know, we have the same thing here this weekend at the Canadian Championships because the junior skaters have really improved tremendously. The pressure on them is great too because they know they have to impress the judges here for future considerations and they're the champions of the future, the future world champions, the future Olympic champions and they'll certainly be going all out here this weekend. Okay and when we put it all together you're going to enjoy another exciting hour here on CTV. The 1981 Canadian Figure Skating Championships will continue in just a moment. Here's our leader. She wants to become our champion. 13 years of age. Bright, beautiful, sparkling, exciting, athletic. And even at her age, uh, John, artistic as well. Now look at the speed, the way she covers the size. It really literally takes her three strokes to go from end to end. As she now builds up for her first triple jump, she has here planned a triple Saukau jump. It's an edge jump from a back edge of three revolutions. There it is, and perfectly executed. This child scares the daylights out of me when we watch her in warm-up. She must have tried that triple sow cow six times, didn't land one of them. Debbie, look at these two double axles she has planned here, and look at the height she gets from nowhere. There's the first one, second one, and she's only skated one minute of her performance and already had so many moves and jumps in it. Incredible when you think that she, at 12 years of age, was the 10th best free skater in the world last year. Watch again. Another triple Saukau, and those are edge jumps. I want to explain they're much more difficult than the triple toe loops that we see others do. Right out of Disney. She was very worried during practice earlier this week because one of the hooks off of her boot had fallen off and it didn't make a hole in the leather. She couldn't get her lace through, so they had to use an ice pick. I don't think there's a father in the rink here tonight that wouldn't want to take her home and say, you're mine.
She's a real credit to her coach, Ellen Burka, but also to some of the coaches that she has had in the past, those that made the wonderful technique and gave her the fantastic basics. Wally Distelmeyer, Judy Williams. Great talent. You know, it's fantastic at her age that she's able to have a program that's so well choreographed and well, so well interpreted as far as the music is concerned. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Fifteen-year-old Tracy Wayman. One little fall, and we'll try to find out actually what happened to her. Well, John, that was an unfortunate fall. It shouldn't count that much against her because she wasn't attempting anything during that period of time. It's uh, the difficult jumps, really, that counted. And here's the most difficult jump that she did. Two of them, triple salka. Watch, from a back edge, she takes off. She has to have the height to do three revolutions, and she lands on a back edge after those perfectly executed three revolutions. Well, we'll get an opportunity to talk to Debbie. We'll be down there when we see, after we had her marks come up, uh, Debbie will have a chance to ask her about that uh, moment. And look at for, uh, for technical merit, there's five, seven, sixes, and a five. And that's not, not very close to perfection, a perfect mark of 6.0. And she's certainly pleased with that performance, and so she should be. <laughs> Look at the flowers, there's tons of flowers. <laughs> what you've just seen is the ultimate in sports entertainment. Take Tracy Wayneman in action and here we go look at the eights one two three four five eights five sixes and a five seven tracy <laughs> and the tears of joy tracy do you think you're going to win i don't know i just have to see how the other skaters did but i'm satisfied because i skated the best i could <laughs> beautiful triple sockage you haven't been landing them in practice and here they were they just popped off so easy i haven't been having the best practices right now i've been having a i had a cold in my ears and my nose and a bad timing but i knew i had to do it <laughs> tell us what happened on that funny little spooky fall at the end i think i got too excited <laughs> and when the edge just went <laughs> i have to calm down <laughs> What's in store for you now? Are you going to get ready for Worlds? What's the situation? Yeah, I'll have to work very hard. <laughs> have you planned any changes? Um, just more triples, <laughs> trying to get them in. Have you been landing the triple toe loops? Um, yeah, off and on, and my triple loops are coming. Just uh, seems like the wrong time, you know. I came, but I'll work on them, get them more consistent. <laughs> when you came here for Canadians, what did you feel was the major hurdle you had to overcome? My short program. I just wanted to do everything in my short program. <laughs> yeah, that combination has been a difficult one for you. What made it work this time? Well, I think I had the confidence because in divisionals I had landed it and I had done the short then and now I have the confidence. <laughs> Maybe it'll be better from now on. <laughs> well, congratulations, Tracy. Win or lose, you were absolutely brilliant, wonderful to watch. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>